Hey guys, it's Matt, and today I'm going to talk about, well, Nintendo at E3. Now, this started last year, and you know, it's starting again now that E3 is literally next week. And it's the whole, Nintendo is dying, it's the final nail in the coffin, because they're not going to E3. Now, is this really that big of a deal? that Nintendo is not going to have a gigantic, overdone press conference. No, it's not. I mean, actually, it's rather silly to think that it is. Like, oh my gosh, it's the death of Nintendo because Nintendo wants to save money. That That's the logic. I mean... Sure, Nintendo's not doing too great, right? So they had this idea last year, like, hey, you know what? Let's do everything the same, right? We're going to have, like, the show floor and everything like that. We're going to take this huge area of the show floor. We're going to show off for stuff. We're going to maybe do some live streaming. I mean, hey, you know, we're going to have some streaming of this. And we're going to do, like, this kind of like Nintendo Direct thing that we've been doing. Well, then let's do this for our conference. Let's do that. And, you know, I, because last year, well, I guess it would be the two years before, we had some problems. I mean, obviously, when we were showing off, you know, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we were having a lot of problems with the Bluetooth connectivity. So, let's pre-record it so there's no issues. As we're doing it ourselves and not having this giant studio... Uh, sorry, not having the giant Nokia theater to deal with. Um, we don't have to rent that space. We don't have to rent a time slot. That's a lot less money that we have to put into this. So it makes economic sense. And it's streamed directly to our viewers. It, it makes sense. So, what's the problem? Well, I think it's because, number one, nostalgia. Again, Nintendo has this huge problem with its fans and just people in general saying they're not as good as they were before because I remember it as a kid and I over-glorify it in my head and it's so terrible. The 90s were amazing. That's pretty much what's going on. So you have that. You also have the people that are holding on to the idea that E3 is the best part of the year because it's like Christmas for gamers even though it's starting to fall apart and people aren't really doing that anymore. Yes, you guys, deal with it. E3 is not as important as it was in the past. Is it still important? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just like PAC East. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's pretty much just like any other conference, any other big event. But now you have, like, Far Cry 4, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate was announced for the U.S. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have Dead Rising 3 is coming for PC. We have the new Halo game. We have possibly a new Halo series, you know, uh, uh, the Halo uh, re-release for the Xbox One. These were all announcements made before E3. So, guys, it, it's not just Nintendo. All the companies are really focusing less on E3 because it's expensive. Less people are watching it. And sometimes there's just better ways to get news. It's as plain and simple as that. And in reality, I don't understand why people are complaining about Nintendo. I mean, it's not like they aren't going to be at E3. They are going to be at E3. They might not be doing the gigantic conference that everyone thinks that needs to be done. But they're streaming unscripted uh, footage of their games on the on the floor for all hours for every single day of the sh you know, of E3 the Twitch they're having a live Super Smash Bros Wii U tournament for crying out loud and you guys are freaking out saying it's the end of Nintendo because they aren't willing to pour tons of money into a conference that maybe lasts an hour I don't understand it. 
I, I really don't understand these people's mindsets. Because it doesn't make sense. At this point, it doesn't make sense to be spending tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of money on this conference that lasts about an hour where you get the same demographic of people watching your Nintendo Direct, which costs way less, is more reliable, and has been shown to work well. I I don't know. I mean, I just think it's silly. Um, personally, I can't wait to see what they're going to announce, but... <sighs> the Nintendo Doom is never going to end. Well, I don't know what you guys think, but uh, if you guys want to, please put something in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys have to think. Um, see what you guys think about this uh, subject, because it definitely... It's been annoying me ever since last year. So, I just kind of want to know, am I the only one that thinks this, or do other people have different ideas? Alright, then of course, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate the likes, because it shows, hey, you guys actually enjoy watching my content. And, um, yeah, just letting you guys know, later today, I will be uploading E3 predictions. That's a good one. Um, a video talking about why I've kind of come to resent the Metro Prime Trilogy. And then also, I am going to be talking about why the last generation just needs to die. So, yeah, you can look forward to those later today. Alright, so until next time, I will see you guys later.